So in this lecture, we're going to discuss certain biochemical catalysts that exist inside our body known as enzymes. Now before we get into enzymes, what they are and how they work, let's recall what the transition state of a chemical reaction is. Our transition state is the highest energy point of our reaction. It represents the rate of our reaction. So let's suppose we have the following energy diagram for a reaction. So our reactants are converted to our products. This y-axis is the change in Gibbs free energy on the standard conditions and this is our x-axis. It is our reaction progress. So our reactants are converted to products. So products are lower in energy than our reactants. So this must mean this is an exergonic reaction. But notice this hump, this mountain, is our transition state. So this is the energy of our transition state. It's an energy maximum. And this solid line is our uncatalyzed reaction. Now, under lab conditions, scientists can lower the transition state, speeding up our reactions. Remember, the energy or the activation energy determines how quickly our reaction takes place. So, scientists can either increase the temperature of our reactions, thereby increasing the kinetic energy of our reactants, and that means more of our reactants can overcome our activation barrier. Or they can also add a certain catalyst, which actually decreases the rate of our reactions. It decreases the activation energy, and a catalyst is an acid or a base. Now, our body works in a slightly different way. Our body also utilizes these catalysts, which help decrease the rate of our reactions, but they cannot simply increase the temperature. Our body cannot simply increase temperature or add an acid or a base. Because our biochemical reactions taking place inside our body depend on certain temperatures and certain pH environments. So our environments inside our body need to be of a stable and constant environment. So, once again, on the lab conditions, we can speed up reactions by increasing temperatures or by adding a catalyst such as an acid or a base. On the other hand, proteins and various biochemical reactions in our body depend on certain temperature and pH environments. Instead of using acid bases as catalysts, and instead of increasing temperatures, we use enzymes. So enzymes are usually proteins that assist in the reaction. They assist by converting our reactants to our products in a quicker fashion. So, Enzymes can do the following things. Provide a microenvironment for the reactants that can stabilize the transition state, thereby lowering the activation energy and increasing our rate. So basically what an enzyme can do is stabilize our transition state energy, lowering the activation energy, thereby increasing our rate of reaction. Now enzymes can also orient our reactants in a special way so that the reaction occurs at a quicker rate. And enzymes can also provide a completely different pathway, completely different mechanism that has a lower energy of activation than the enzyme-free reaction. So let's look at an example of a biological enzyme. So glycolysis is the process by which glucose is broken down into its constituents, into its components, which can then be used to create energy in the form of ATP. So glycolysis breaks down glucose into a form that can be either stored as, glucose, as glycogen or further broken down to yield energy. Now this process of glucose requires different types of enzymes to take place at a very high rate. Without these enzymes, we would probably die. We would not be able to create the amount of energy required for life. Now, pyruvate kinase is a specific example of an enzyme that is used by this glycolysis process. This enzyme speeds up the last step of our glycolysis process, producing the two pyruvate molecules and ATP. Now these pyruvate molecules can further be broken down inside 
uh, the mitochondria of our cells, which then can yield much more energy, many more molecules of ATP that can be eventually used for energy. So once again, enzymes are biochemical, biological examples of catalysts that are essential for life. We need enzymes to speed reaction rates, to speed up reaction rates.